You want to know the seven surest ways to groom your child to end up in love with a narcissist the one day and holding on even uh, years beyond that when the relationship gets worse and worse and worse. Holding on and hoping against hope. You want to know the seven surest ways to ensure that your child ends up in a relationship like that someone, someday? One, allow them to have no boundaries in their relationship with you. Two, don't allow them the word no in their relationship with you. Doesn't mean they get everything they want, but don't allow them to have no at all. Make it about your agenda and your wants and your needs and that they basically have to acquiesce. Three, insist that they tell you everything, especially in their teen years, when their natural inclination is to differentiate from the parent and from the family as their primary orientation point. Don't allow them to have friends or their own private life. Insist, demand, force them to be your best friend forever. Oh, you're my BFF, right? Four, minimize their feelings, their wants, their needs, their dreams, their aspirations, their decision making. Five, don't let them go. Whether it's in their teen years when they want to differentiate, when they want to go off to college far away, when, <laughs> when they want to go take that first job in some other state, when they want to have their own family or have their own kid, insist that they don't let you go, that they stay close to you and they meet your needs and they're calling you all the time, being your best friend and telling you everything. That'll breed a wonderful relationship with their new uh, spouse. It'll breed a wonderful relationship between you and your daughter-in-law, your son-in-law. Six, use them to meet your needs for affection, attention, approval, acceptance, acknowledgement of all your pain and all you're going through and all the crap from your past. Insist that they know your whole heavy story. Insist that they give you attention and affection. Insist that they understand it's really about you. Seven, keep controlling them. Keep strongly influencing their decisions. Keep in injecting your voice into their head. Make sure they're always thinking about what you want. Teach them that this is what love is. Teach them to override their own inner voice, their own feelings, wants, needs, aspirations in life. Keep doing that and saying it's for their own good. You're just teaching them, you're just guiding them. Insist that they not ever make their own decisions when they're in their teen years. Don't let them make their own mistakes and learn from their mistakes. Insist on saving them from their mistakes because you know better and you're just trying to save them mistakes. Don't teach them to learn to trust their own voice and make decisions and make mistakes and recover and learn from those mistakes. Don't teach them any of that. Do you want to know what these seven things all have in common in your grooming your child to be in love with a narcissist one day? What these seven things have in common is that you are teaching the child that the focal, the fundamental focal point of their life, the fundamental orientation point of their energies, their feelings, their work, their love giving is someone other than themselves. Teach them that you the primary parent, the most influential person in their life, teach them that you, your wants, your needs, your thoughts, your dreams, your aspirations, your decisions, your voice is more important than their own wants, needs, dreams, feelings, voice. Teach them that and you are setting them up perfectly as an extreme giver in the world. And extreme givers will find, you've heard me use this term before, extreme takers, which is my definition for a narcissist. I'm not really into the term narcissist. Extreme givers find extreme takers. You are teaching this child that they don't matter that it's about the other person. Keep giving, keep giving, keep hoping beyond hope, even when it gets bad. And they'll just keep giving, hoping for one little ounce of love in return. And that's a relationship with a narcissist if there ever was one. You are teaching them that this is what love is. You are normalizing it. You, the most powerful person in this child's life, are normalizing this when you make it about yourself, your voice, your wants, your needs, that they don't get a no. They don't get to have boundaries with you and say no. They don't get to do any of that. That's going to be their new normal going into childhood. That's going to be their lifetime normal. And it's going to take them decades to unwind that and realize that that was wrong. You want to change your child. You want to prepare them for adulthood so that they can stand on their own two feet, think independently, trust their own voice, even when they don't make mistakes, that they can recover from mistakes so that they're not forever orient their life, orienting their life to an external power source. It was you all those years and now it's just their spouse or now it's just their best friend or now it's their siblings or now it's their boss. They're constantly giving their power away, looking to someone else to tell them what to feel, what to think, what to dream for, what decisions to make. You want to teach them to be independent, then you teach them that, that it's okay to have them know that they don't always have to make it about your feelings and everyone else's feelings. You can teach them how to love themselves rather than forever trying to buy love from someone else by giving, giving, giving. If I just give more, then you won't leave me and I'll get a little bit, a little, little bit of love in return. Don't teach your child to make the other person always more important than themselves. They have to learn it with you or it will take decades of life lost in order to finally learn it in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Think I'm kidding? Read the comments on this, on this video. Read it. Because I know a lot of the salty old dogs, old guys, the old women, they're going to comment on this and they're going to say, trust us, young people. Trust us, young parents. Don't do this shit to your child. 
because it's going to set them up to be in these crappy relationships later. Teach them independence. Teach them to trust the word no, but don't depend on the child for your own love needs. Allow them to have boundaries with you. Allow them to have their own life. They don't get to run the show because we're still working as a team in this family. But they need to have their no. They need to have their boundaries. They need to know that their, their wants, their needs for attention, affection, approval, acceptance, acknowledgement of their pains matter. Teach them to trust their own voice. You want to prepare your child to not end up in crappy relationships. You prepare them to tr by trusting their own voice, learning independence, learning independent decision making. Don't teach them to be an extreme giver meeting your needs because that will be their new normal going into adulthood. Have a kick-ass day.